Hello and welcome back to the Motown India show. My name is Joshua and today we are at the Porsche showroom in Gurgaon. We're going to be testing out the Cayenne in off-road territory. So stay tuned for all the action and check out what the Cayenne has to offer. Porsche has a couple of track-worthy cars under its belt like the 911, the Boxster, the 918 Spider and more. But they have not left the off-road field unattended. For that, they have the Cayenne. Recently, Porsche India Delhi office invited a few journalists to test drive and experience their big boys on a specially made off-road track on the outskirts of Delhi. The short course consisted of the usual rumble strips to test out the MEH levels, uphill and downhill hurdles to test out the hill hold and hill descent functions respectively. The deep pits full of water to test out its wading capabilities. And different types of steep angle courses to test out the traction control and suspension of the vehicle. There was also a short strip for acceleration and sudden braking in order to test the ABS feature of the car. The Porsche Cayenne is no doubt a sports car with some well endowed off road capabilities. As we moved on from the regular tarmac to the off-road track, all it needed was a tug of a button and air suspension ensured that the ride height increased accordingly. As for taking on the rough terrain, there is a Porsche Active Suspension Management along with all-wheel drive that comes into play almost immediately. The Cayenne diesel variant we drove was powered by a 3.0-litre V6 TDI common rail direct fuel injection engine that churned out 240 bhp and a peak torque of 550 Nm. The Cayenne has a monocoque lightweight body in a combination of steel, aluminum and magnesium. The car sits on 255x55 R18 tyres. All this helps this SUV to handle uneven terrain with great ease. Even in extreme conditions when the vehicle has just one or two wheels on the ground and is tilted precariously, its intelligent suspension system provides the right amount of traction to the right wheels to pull the massive vehicle back on the ground. The car was also tested on tracks that had a side inclination of more than 30 degrees. The heavily tilted car remained well planted on the ground as it drove along with considerable ease. Gentlemen, I give you the Royal Enfield Himalayan. <laughs> 